Weebly e-commerce tutorial, how to create an online store on Weebly full guide. Hi there you guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how you can use Weebly to create an online store. Now daily, a lot of consumers all over the world use the internet to buy everything from jewelry and groceries to kitchenware and office supplies. It's a lot more important than ever for businesses, including small ones and big ones, and uh, varieties to develop a professional web presence. This is important, yes. So if you have a business and you want to make it big, it's not a choice or it's not even a question for you to start an online shop. Uh, we believe right here is a free service that enables businesses to easily build a website to market and sell products to their customers. What Weebly does is it utilizes a range of drag and drop tools that allow users of any skill level to build a fully functional online store. Right, so the first thing that you'll need to do is to set up a Google checkout or PayPal business merchant account can analyze the benefits and drawbacks of each service and determine which merchant account is most suitable for your business. Right, so next thing that you need to do is to enter your personal contact information, business information, current monthly sales, and financial information. Um, this information is used for identity verification and tax purposes, by the way. So if you choose to use Google Checkout, make sure to visit your Google Checkout account, click the Settings tab, navigate to the Integration section, and then check the box that says, My company will only post digitally signed cards. Mm, this box must be unchecked for the Google Checkout shopping cart to function properly on your Weebly online store. Okay. Now, once you're done doing that, once you're you're done setting that up, what you can do next is to visit Weebly.com and create an account. To do this, you should enter your full name and email address and create a password. Um, next is to determine a title of your or for your website, and it's um, usually the name of your business. And once you're done entering that, you can classify your new website in the business category and the online store subcategory. Now do this because you know it helps Weebly uh, actually show you suggestions if you design your website later on. You can also enter the desired domain name for your online store. So yeah, someone else may already own or control your desired domain name. So uh, maybe think of other domain names that are unique and you know, essentially what you're thinking now might have been gotten by other people. Next step that you yeah that you should take after you're, you're done creating an account is selecting a theme for your website. Uh, it's easy because you know Wibbly provides more than 100 professional themes that can be easily customized without any technical or coding skills. So once you've selected a theme, you can click Edit Image on the Themes header to replace the sample image with your business logo. Now, this is an important part because you're creating an online presence, so as much as possible, you want a site that's highly customized, which represents your brand. And yeah, if you're making a strong, if you're trying to make a strong online presence, make sure to do that. Next step is adding site elements to your homepage. Your homepage is typically the first page your customers visit. So it's just right to include a brief welcome message and a short description of your business. Drag the paragraph with picture site element from the top of the editing page to the main body of the website template. You can then upload a relevant picture and enter your desired text in the space provided. You can browse through the available site elements, including photo gallery, slideshow, and contact form, and drag any selected elements to a preferred position on the page. 
Now, once you're done doing that, you can then create a page for your online store. To do this, click the Pages tab in the Weebly website editor and click Add Page. You can then enter a name for the page that easily identifies it as the place your customers can purchase your products, such as Store or Buy Now. Then click on Save Settings. Click the Revenue category in the top left corner of the editing page and select one of the four pre-designed pre product elements. For each product you plan to sell, upload a high quality picture, enter the name of the product, draft a compelling description, and set the price. So once you're uh, done doing that, you can then link your merchant account to your website. To do this, you can click the settings tab in the Weebly site editor and click e-commerce settings. If you use Google Checkout, enter your mail merchant ID. If you use PayPal Business, enter the email address associated with your PayPal merchant account. Select your desired currency and click save. Now, you can prepare your website for publishing. Rigorously scar your website for spelling and grammatical errors. You can also ask a friend, family member, or business partner to proofread the site as well. A professional error-free web presence uh, helps gain and maintain the trust of your customers. So make sure that everything on screen is right. There is nothing really cringy about it or stuff like that. After you're done making sure that everything is right, you can then click Publish in the top right corner of the Wibbly site editor to publish your site or your website and enable customers to visit your online store and purchase your products. Last step is to promote your online store. So of course, you don't expect customers to come to your site simply because it exists, right? Um, uh, yeah, for you to get visitors, actively share and promote your website. You can do this by using a combination of press releases or if your business is too small for that, you can just go to social media, approach influencers. Or if not, if that's not your thing, you can also do email marketing. Now I have other videos which explains email marketing. Essentially, you just need a landing page. Or you can also try search engine marketing. If you're knowledgeable about search engine optimization, go ahead and try this out. Of course, it never gets old word of mouth this is when influencers start to come in. I consider, you know, influencer advertising as a modern type of word of mouth because someone else is talking about your product but not to a single person alone, actually to a lot of people. And yeah, cross your fingers and hopefully a lot more people visit your website. So yeah, that's how you create an online store in Wibbly, you guys. So if you like more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit or give this video a thumbs up it really helps us a lot big time but that's it for this video you guys i hope to see you again on the next one peace out